Are your X-Tool wires too short to reach the motherboard? Well, today I'm going to show you how to extend those wires so there's plenty of cable to get them plugged in. And that's how we do it. I recently added extension rails onto my X-Tool D1 Pro. I then added a drag chain that made my wires just a bit short from being able to be plugged in comfortably without putting tension on the connectors. Not wanting to break a wire, I decided I would extend my cable connections. In order to do this, we will need two sets of wires. I'm using the one that came with my extension kit and the set that came with my original D1 Pro. We will also need a heat gun, or you can use a lighter, some tape for marking, heat shrink tubing, a wire stripper, and wire cutters. The first thing we need to do is remove the current wires from the drag chain. I take a tool that has a small end that fits between the clips on the drag chain. I use it as a lever to open up the clips. A small flathead screwdriver will work just fine. I will then pull back the protective sleeve on both sets of wires to give me access to the wires themselves. To make sure we reconnect the wires in the proper order, I will use some tape and mark both sides of the wires. I make sure that the same side of the connectors on both sets of wires are facing up in the same direction. I then place a piece of tape on that side of the wires. This way I know when I connect my wires together, I will be splicing the wires with the tape side up on both sides, ensuring the wires are connected in the proper order. Using the old set of wires first, I cut the wires leaving plenty of space between my cut and the connections. I left about 6 inches. On the extension set of the wires, I cut the wires close to the connections to leave me as much wire as possible. I then separate the wires some. You can see here that the tape is facing up, so I know the wires must be connected in this order to one another. I then separated the wires on the other section. I then strip the wire and cut the heat shrink tube to the size I need it. I place a larger heat shrink tube over all the wires and slide it down out of the way from the end I will be splicing. I did this on both sides. I slide the tube over the wire. In hindsight, I should have placed the heat shrink tube over the wire before I stripped it. It would have made it a lot easier to go over the wire. I spliced the wires together, giving them a small twist together.
We then move the heat shrink tube over the spliced wires and use the heat gun or a lighter to apply heat and shrink the tube over the wires. This will hold them in place. We continue doing this for all the connections, making sure we line up each wire with its corresponding wire on the other side. When all the wires are connected and heat shrunk, I then move the large heat shrink tube over the group of spliced wires. I then applied the heat gun and shrinked the tubes over all of the connections. I then repeat this process for the other two sets of wires until all my connections are done. I now have my wires extended and long enough to easily plug them into my motherboard without putting any stress on the connections. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description below for the items that were used in today's video. If you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. If you didn't like what you saw, smash that thumbs down button twice to really let us have it. Until next time, this is John with That's How We Do It, brought to you by Rustic American Woodworks.